Yo, what is going on guys? Unreal here, bringing you guys a brand new video on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So basically today I'm going to be bringing you, as you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to be doing a few videos on Call of Duty for beginners. Now, most people I play with, which are subscribers, think I'm a very decent Call of Duty player, and they're always asking me, how, why, how do you do this? So... I decided why not make a few videos on me just giving you guys some tips now each video will be coming with at least maybe three to four tips this one will be coming with three um so yeah hopefully all these uh, things i'm gonna be telling you um help you help you guys call of duty wise and hopefully it helps you become a better call of duty player um if it does it does if it doesn't it doesn't you know it's just uh, you know something to help you guys out so uh yeah hope you guys enjoy the video please like comment and subscribe and yes all right, so tip number one is gonna be based off why well, I got major potato aim. Enemy okay, down. tip number one is gonna be based off um, practice on your aim. Now, practice on your aim. There's certain ways you can be practicing on your aim. Um, one would be centering. Okay, I'm gonna die here. All right, centering is basically unless in the hide because I don't want to die here. Unless you know there's gonna be a person up top or a bottom, centering is just keep looking let's say like right around this area now as you can see those four lines get out of here bub but those four lines like in the center of your screen that's where i recommend always having it on due to most of the time that's where people are coming from you're never going to see a guy crawling through this corner unless if he's a complete noob trying to kill you either way you're either going to spot him and just take him out but one thing would always learn how to center learn how to keep it there never be running around like this or or looking down just keep the center so always keep it center um number two would be like right now what i'm doing shoot bots practice on your aim by shooting bots it's you know it's not as fun maybe you have a partner to play with just push shoot bots for fun and just to practice on your aim when i'm going to play like say pro series or something the way that i warm up is i shoot bots for fun just to warm up to get my hands warm up to get my movement warmed up and believe me it always helps it always helps to for me to perform and always be top on the board. Sometimes you want to play pubs with the subscribers or a kid calls me out and says, hey, you're complete trash. I want to 1v1 you. And I 1v1 them. I actually warm up by shooting bots. And it helps me a lot. And it's just something I, it's not, you know, it's fun what you do with the person because you actually get to kill them sometimes mm -hmm. and they kill you. But uh, yeah, shoot bots for fun. Shoot bots just to warm up. Just do, just you do you. Just put it to 100 kills and kill 100 bots and boom, jump to a, a public match. And believe me, you will end up be getting kills um, on, on on public matches, pro series or scrims or whatever you like to do. And even for, you know, just for experience and becoming a better Call of Duty player. Shooting bots always will help you improve your aim. All right, step number two, or no, uh, tip number two is gonna be set small goals for yourself. Now, I don't mean um, drop 100 kills every game, no. Like, the most I drop a game with, like, TDM would be 50 or something like that, but, like, cause that's my goal. Always drop 40 to 50 kills on a TDM, that's my goal. So, like, if you're a new guy to Call of Duty, I would like for you guys to set a goal, let's say 10 kills a game, 15 kills a game. And, you know, believe me, if you actually try, you'll end up getting. That doesn't make you a tryhard like many tryhards in the air and it would say but uh yes that number two would be um just set a goal for yourself if you're playing tdm let's say okay i'm gonna sit here and camp and drop 10 kills you know and i completely agree if that's the way uh, if that's the way you play then just do it if if not then then you know just you do you and the other thing would be just find your play style find your play style playing call of duty and uh just set goals and just, just let's say i'm gonna dot kit 20 kills and die five times or die less than five times and then tr just try your best and do it another thing for this tip would exactly would be like um like it's i think this is like, like from logical scar um he says if i'm playing a pub it's like I, okay i'm gonna get two kills every life and just and, and just die once and if i get more than two kills that's just a bonus then you know that's just him that for when he started playing call of duty that was his thing like okay every every life I'm gonna kill two guys and then I'll drop and then I'll die. You know, and, and hope if I I'll, me, if I die then I die. But with the two, <sighs> so many barriers. And, but if if I die, that's, if I get two kills and I die, that's fine. If I, you know, just you know don't die, then that's even better. And you keep getting kills. That's it's just the bonus. And you're just getting more kills, and it's just the bonus to you. And you're just getting more experience and more playing. Uh, so yeah, that's from logic. It's just and let's call that to get two kills and uh, get two kills every life, which which makes sense. So yeah, that's step number two. All right, step number three. Step number three is gonna be something that maybe a lot of people don't, you know, can't do, but I bet you there's a lot of people who actually can. 
for example, kids, you know. Enemy down. Um, play, if you if you want to be a good Call of Duty player, you got to put your time in the game. You, let's say you can't be playing once a week and, and be expecting to drop a massive amount of kills every game, you know. Like, let's say if you play two hours every week Call of Duty, then no. I, I don't think there's, you know, a, a level of, you know, that you're actually going to be a good Call of Duty player. You might be average, you know, just to, like you remember. But like, for example, me, when I let go of the sticks, and or by, or by sticks, I mean the joysticks, you nasty people. But like, what I mean is basically, like, just saying, okay, I got to do this for two, three weeks, or I'm going on vacation, I can't play. Then, yeah, when I come back, I'm not the same Unreal. Like, I got I to gotta start playing and playing and playing to become that Unreal again. Like let's say if I, um, let's say if I stop playing COD for three weeks, and then let's say one of our subscribers shout out to DJ Waffles. Let's say if DJ Waffles is unreal, I want to one v one you. Beep, bad word. Um, like we start one v one, he's probably gonna smack me due to I haven't played for a long time and it's, I'm just not the same guy. And DJ Waffles is gonna be like right here. I'm gonna be sniper just got him but that's that's what it's basically gonna be like like i'm just gonna miss every shot get a couple of hit markers and he's gonna end up beating me so step number three will simply be get your time in like just put time in the game i've been playing call of duty for i don't have a life so it's like five six years now and you know i've played ga some game battles here and i've you know played a lot of pubs you know and i'm just improving every time that i play cod wow I feel like I'm improving. Like I'm just, I just feel like I'm becoming a better player. So step number three would be put your time in, play the game. If you're if you're playing, let's say only nights, then yeah, like it's just it's not gonna happen. You know, like you just gotta put your time in. That's that, that's step number three, guys. All right, so I changed my mind. I'm gonna be giving you guys four tips this video, just because I'm being nice and I'm feeling like a courageous person. So step number four would be find your play style. Don't okay. So what, what I what I see most people do like I am a flex player for competitive. If people know what flex is, it means I run SMG or an AR. I can run either, but just it. What? Oshin. Okay. So it just depends on the map, you know. If I let's say if I'm playing uh, like this slums, then I normally run an AR. Can I run an SMG? Look at this dude. See, that's a camper basic. That, that's a camper right there. But for the most part, I play flex. So in this map, I play AR. In other certain maps, I'll, I'll run an SMG if needed. But if playing with the team, you know, if the, let's say we're missing an AR, then yeah, you'll end up seeing seeing me run an AR. But now saying that I play flex doesn't mean you gotta play flex. Just because Unreal plays flex and he's so good at it, maybe that I should do that. No, I don't agree with that completely. I, in my opinion, everybody has a different gameplay, gameplay style or game style of playing in Call of Duty. Enemy delete. Um, if you if you like camping with an LMG with a thermal sight, do that. If you like running around with an SMG and getting kills, do that. You do you. Like, it's like. If people, and you know, believe me, you're always going to get, if you like to camp or like to play with an LMG, you're always going to get hate messages, but that's just the way it goes. Like, I just ignore it. Like, sometimes I get people commenting on my videos very mean things because they get smacked. But, hey, it doesn't bother me because I honestly don't care. At the end of the day, what the, I'm basically smacking them. So, find your place to all be number three. I play flex. Now, there's SMG Slayer, SMG Support, AR Slayer, AR Support, Snipers. It don't matter what you're into. Whatever, like, it always depends on what you like doing or whatever you want to play with. You know, that's what it matters. So, yeah. But if playing competitive, I do believe that every team needs a couple of like like smg slayers or smg support and one smg slayer one smg support ar slayer ar support some objective players is another one so yeah but uh, for the main part just find your role you know just use the gun you feel comfortable with don't be using a gun that somebody tells you to use if someone goes like yo unreal what gun are you using and i'm like oh, i use the maddox with with uh, the mazu or something like that and, and you want to try to go for it like you have every right to try it out but if it doesn't work for you it doesn't mean you got to keep grinding to get good with that gun if you're if you use the, the the let's say the icr better than the maddox then run the icr it always depends on what you prefer to use so yeah that's tip number four just be the player you want to be and uh just basically 
find your play style and depending on your play style you know that's if, if you're a camper no matter what you are you know just keep being that play style never change it up unless you obviously want to or something ladies and gentlemen i changed my mind i'm giving you guys five tips five tips just because i'm amazing and so are you i love you so tip number five always have fun don't be the guy to get bam right in the face oh i'm angry i'm done and then you back out of the game never be that guy i mean if if you have like issues or something then yeah i get it but i don't see why people back out most of the time like i have sometimes i like one v one kids and they back out and call me bad words that will not be named because this is a pg channel but basically like it happens you know i've rage quit i remember back when i was a kid and i was playing black ops 2 and i was like going to school and stuff all right story time and uh like my mom didn't my mom and dad didn't let me play because i was like getting in trouble doing something stupid and i had a complete bitch fit over it and i broke my controller my brand new 60 dollar controller and believe me 20 minutes later i feel like an idiot so people don't break controllers Controller lives matter. So yeah, it always depends on how you play the game. But have fun. Play with your friends. Just do. Just just have fun with the game. Don't don't be like yeah like yeah. Set your goals and stuff, but don't be like oh I don't set the goal. I'm installing this uninstalling this game because I just can't. I'm not good at it. Now anybody can be good at Call of Duty. Anybody can. All you gotta do is play, put your time in, enjoy the game, and just find your playstyle and be freaking sexy at it. So, yeah, guys, five tips for you. I'm amazing. You're amazing. I'm beautiful and sexy. You're just cool. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a Call of Duty. It was gonna be three tips, but I did five. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, Smash that like button. If you didn't, just subscribe. So, yeah. Unreal loves you. Unreal is love. Unreal is love. Never forget that Unreal loves you. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Expire. Quishwang.